Hello, Collective. This is Unigawea Shamanism. I'm going to show you my face real quick, but I want you to be able to see these cards, okay? So, as you can see, today I am going to actually do a reading for your child. <clears throat> now, I know there's a little girl in this card, but um, that does not mean this reading is only for girls. Um, obviously, I will do each individual sign, so it's a little more descriptive. But um, this could be male or female child. Uh, we're going to just kind of see how they're feeling, what it is they might need from you, and what life is kind of looking like through their eyes right now, okay? So, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. Ooh, that was pretty, pretty quick right there. So, if you have an Aries child, or a child who has Aries in their chart, this reading might apply to you, okay? Take what's for you, leave what's not. All right. Let's get into it. So I'm going to get a couple of these cards. Angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, please protect my energy and my cards. Can I get some messages? What would the Aries children like their parents to know? What would the Aries many cards okay children like their parents to know please <clears throat> so I am seeing that though there are a male a female and a child here um, I'm seeing community so I'm seeing what might be going on is you might have maybe met somebody new I want you to know that concern is upside down I am feeling that your Aries child really likes this new person that you have met and we have mature man here so I am going to guess this is for a woman with a Aries child who has just started newly dating a man and I do want you to know that your child does want you to know that they don't have a concern with this man. They actually truly like him. Good job. I'm proud of you, Mom. Okay. So. How is the Aries child feeling right now? How is the Aries child feeling right now? Ooh, I got some good cards for you. I'm like I said, I'm gonna say that this is for a mother. Um, this also could be for an Aries man, a mature man who has just started dating a woman as well. Uh, take it as it resonates. So I'm feeling that your Aries child is lacking a little bit of courage right now. They are kind of unsure of their self where they stand in life, who they are. I'm feeling that a lot of you might be having children between the ages of six and I'm going to say about 16 or 17. So they're going through some changes right now. And because of these changes, they're having a little bit of problems with self-confidence and courage. So you are being asked parents to make sure that you are really being aware of your child, their courage, their confidence, how they're feeling about their self, having these important talks with your child because they are truly needing that self-confidence, that reassurance from you, mom and dad, okay? I am also seeing from here you have a very honest child. I'm seeing that some of you that are have that have the teenagers or the preteens might be kind of worried about the honesty factor of of your child and I'm here to tell you that your child is a very honest very good child they are making good choices and when they're not they are being wholeheartedly honest with you so that's amazing I'm seeing balance so I'm feeling that you guys are doing a great job making sure you balance your relationship and your life and because of that your child is feeling very balanced at home I'm feeling like I'm talking to a parent that their child may be having a little bit of trouble at school but that will come into balance 
And I'm also feeling that there's some parents that I'm talking to that your child is completely balanced in all aspects of life, whether it be friends, school, home life, and that is an awesome thing to see, okay? I'm also seeing that you have been keeping a very peaceful home for your child. Congratulations, okay? That is super important to keep them at peace and balanced and feeling safe and secure. So your child wants you to know that you are doing a great job of this, okay? I'm going to grab a couple of my homemade cards. Let's get some messages from your child, okay? These are messages... From your child. Okay, what would the Aries children like their parents to know? Messages from Aries Child. All right, mom and dad. So I want to put this one up first because this is a double confirmation. The peace you are bringing to your household and your child is amazing. Your child definitely wants to double confirm that you are a peaceful place, that home is their favorite place to be which is amazing they feel great there and they are so absolutely happy joy you are bringing so much joy into your child's life i feel like some of you may have times which we all do where you feel like you are too hard on your child or they don't like you or they're upset with you all the time but they do want you to know that of course it's the child parent dynamic but you do bring absolute joy to your child and they are happy i am feeling like some of you have a boy and some of you have a girl though i did not get the girl card but your aries male child is coming through to let you know this so i'm seeing this lonely card and i am feeling like there are times that your child feels lonely because they are adjusting to your relationship, okay? This has not a whole heck of a lot to do with you just being an absent parent or not paying attention to them at all. This is just an adjustment to your new relationship and blending your life, okay? I am also feeling that for some of you, your child might be having trouble making friends at school, might feel a little lonely, might feel a little outcasted, and just make sure that you are always talking to your child about that, explaining to them that it's okay, that they will make friends, you know, just constantly giving them that reassurance and confidence and helping them along their journey, okay? Your child also wants you to know that they absolutely love you, mom and dad. They love you. You are doing a great job, and they are so very proud of you. I know that it sounds kind of weird to hear that a child is proud of you, but yes, they are very intuitive. They are very pure, so their intuition, their spiritual abilities are a lot more on point because they are completely untainted by the world okay so your child does want you to know that they absolutely love and adore you you also got guidance so <clears throat> this kind of goes with what i was talking about with the courage and confidence so your child is going through some type of transition of the stage of an age that they are at right now, whether it be like changing friend groups, whether it be they're transitioning from preteen to teen, toddler to preteen, whatever it is. And they just want you to know that, yes, they are the type of child that's going to need a little more guidance and reassurance. 
but you're doing a great job. So don't be hard on yourself at all. Kids, I feel like, need constant guidance and reassurance, okay? You got acting out and it's upside down. So I feel like, yes, of course, all children act out sometimes, but your child, this is more so them saying that getting that constant reassurance and guidance is what is going to make them not act out as much. So they just want you to be aware that they're acting out when they do act out is because of this lack of confidence, okay? This lack or this shift that they're having in their age, in their perception, in their mind, and spiritually, okay? We got grandpa. So I am seeing for some of your Aries children, they are either around their grandpa a lot or they love their grandpa a lot and they would like to be around him more. Now, if they have a very close relationship with grandpa and they're not around them a lot, your child is actually trying to guide you to have grandpa come over more, spend more time with them. They're very close to grandpa's heart and grandpa is close to theirs, okay? He is a very good influence in their life and very positive and he is part of what makes them feel happy and secure and joyful okay for others of you i feel that grandpa is around a lot and your child is letting you know that they truly enjoy their grandpa and love him and he is a very positive role model and makes them feel very happy and safe okay okay so parents this part's for you I am going to get some uh, ancestor messages for you really quick. So can I get some ancestor messages for my Aries parents, please? Ancestor messages for my Aries children's parents. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to do three for you guys because that's what I'm being called to do. So, like I said, your child is shedding their skin right now. They are going through a spiritual and physical transmission, transition, transmission, transition. I'm feeling that is some of your kids might be getting ready to get a permit and drive as I see. Um, they are shedding old skin. They might be a little moody. They might be a little off. They might be acting out a little bit, but just be patient with your child, okay? Because they are going through things and they are human. And just like us, when you go through, through things, you kind of have a little bit of a tough time, you know? Especially because when we transition in any way, shape, and form in life, we obviously have never been in that spot that we're going to spiritually or physically because we're transitioning. Hello. We've never been that age. We've never like thought those things, grown mentally, gone through puberty. Puberty is a rough time, okay? So just make sure you are patient because there will be mood swings. There will be acting out. There will be arguments. Make sure that you stay calm. Make sure that you bring love and understanding into every situation and I promise you those situations obviously are going to happen but they are going to be a lot easier for you and your child to work with okay you also got broken arrow and this is kind of what I was confirming what I was saying okay so it says embrace the energy of peace so I feel like when you react to these mood swings to these changes to this attitude to this acting out with as much kindness, compassion, and calmness as you can, because I know we're not all perfect, these transitions are going to go a lot smoother, not only for you, but for your child. Always try to remember that you are the person setting the example. They are always looking to you for how to act in situations. You are going to obviously, throughout their life, be showing them how people love, parent, communicate with each other act toward each other so just try to be mindful of everything that you do okay so you also got the wise one ah sorry so i feel like <clears throat> because i'm seeing the owl and the crow that some of you might be a spiritual family which awesome love that and you do obtain this wisdom you just kind of 
get lost in the hustle and bustle of life, and that is okay, so do I. I'm not gonna lie, okay? Nobody's perfect, but I feel that you are growing within your situation. As weird as this sounds to people, because I'm looking at this card, I want, well, your ancestors want you to understand that it is never too early to teach your children about spirituality, to teach them to pray, to teach them about good and bad energy, good and bad people. We should be teaching them that the second in my opinion, that they are able to comprehend those things, okay? So incorporate a little spirituality in your life. If you are not a spiritual family, just my opinion, you don't have to do that, but I feel that it will help your child transition and grow throughout their life with a lot more ease, confidence, and love, okay? So that is what I have. Oh, Hold on, I want to do some angel messages for you. Sorry. Don't worry, I ain't going to shortchange you like that. I hope you guys are enjoying my read. This is kind of the first time that I've ever done one of these. So, uh, thank you for watching. And thank you for giving me the privilege to let, to uh, guide you, help guide you and your child toward having a more peaceful, loving, and happy home, okay? Can I get angel messages for the parents of the Aries child? Thank you. Okay, you got Aurora. You are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. So I feel like this is a two-way street right here. This is for you and your child. So as far as for you, mom and dad, they are letting you know that you are doing an awesome job at parenting. Do not listen to outside sources that are trying to input their, their, um, how do I want to say this? That want to like stick their nose in your business and tell you how to parent because you truly know what's best for your child and if there are outside influences that are being negative towards your parenting whether you're doing something um, correctly or not I do want you to know that there is no right way to parent there is not a book on how you parent these children do not come with a manual let's be real okay so parent for the best of your child's abilities for the best of their life for the best of their health okay do not listen to people that are a negative influence or come at you a negative way about the way you parent okay what I want you to do is take things with a grain of salt mom and dad I want you to make sure that you listen to yourself before you listen to anybody else and please uh, pick and choose what you decide that you want to incorporate add take away from your parenting because ultimately you're the parent okay also i'm being called to tell you that if you are a spiritual family even if you're not the angels want to let you know that your child does have some spiritual gifts and abilities and they might have a hard time in school getting made fun of uh, feeling threatened by other kids because of this fact and they really again we go back to it they really do need your confidence your guidance for you to explain you know why that does happen to them so that they don't feel so outcasted like make it a normal thing because I feel like so many people make spirituality and spiritual spiritually gifted people like out to be a freak okay and you're not a freak you're actually extremely special and you're extremely blessed and gifted so remind your child of that and have those spirituality talks help them harness their gifts control their gifts and make sure that you build your child up so high emotionally and with love that not one person who has a tongue that wants to cut like a knife can cut through your child, okay? Because that is so important in this world that we live in right now. You also got Angel Fiona. Now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. 
Now, mom and dad, this is for you. In the times that you feel like you don't know which way to go, you don't know what way to do, what you need to do for your child, and you don't know if you're doing things right, call upon your angels and ancestors. Um, ask them to guide you. Ask them to show you what needs to be shown. Because I do want to remind you that unless you ask for help and allow your angels and ancestors into your life to help guide you, they are not allowed to do so. Okay, everybody, Aries parents, I hope you enjoyed your child's reading. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of your spiritual journey, for letting me help guide you and your children to a happier and healthier home. I am going to get off here, and I hope you guys have an amazing week. Empress out.